beautiful. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV. Sunny, hot Australia again. Cars fully charged. So this morning, today, today is one of these crazy, crazy days. All right, we are at 99%, uh, 39.4 ampere hours. And we've got several appointments today. This exactly happens when you have a week off. Anything goes nuts. So this morning we are starting with a hopefully quick appointment in Forest Hill, not far away from here. It's only a couple of kilometers. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a different perspective now in uh, terms of camera positions and stuff, you know. I don't need to drive especially um, carefully this morning or economically or something. I can just hammer the car. <coughs> because this appointment is only a couple of kilometers away. It's, I think, less than 10 kilometers one direction. And afterwards I can plug in the car again at home. I, I don't even need to fully charge the car. If I top it up a little bit that, that will be fine. Because afterwards we have a trailer job to do. I have already loaded the trailer with uh, garden waste and stuff. So we're going to the transfer station, including trailer. And I'll set up the camera on the dashboard again so you can see exactly how many uh, kilowatt we are using at the moment including trailer ah no region <sighs> this rattling this is one of the passenger vent openings if I close it it's quiet if I open it one of the plastics starts vibrating. Disgusting. Disgusting. I cannot stand that really. This rattling. It's not... It's not good. <laughs> yeah, and then when we come back from the transfer station, I need to plug in the car again, once again, because I need some about 15 kilometers only uh, late afternoon at about uh, four o'clock so I've got three appointments we're gonna need the car for okay highway crossing car drive oh yeah I can do that hey, I'm reading through all your comments on my videos the last two or three videos at the moment and heaps of speculations going on what is going on with my car what is going on with the other cars and um, so the first car the first car who had the battery replaced and the triple procedure uh, carried out here in Australia uh, was on 40 ampere hours of course after the procedures and then after 2800 kilometers and two and a half months it dropped by 0 0.1 ampere hour and from what I heard it has dropped again to 38 to 39.8 so it's on the same level as my car now but I don't know exactly what kind of distances he has traveled in between and when you look at the PHEV watchdog website there's only one dot for his car and he mentioned something about having trouble with the dog or something and he's using EV Batmon at the moment so I'm not 100% sure what is going on there but there's only one dot which is then moving downwards so we don't have a history of his car hmm. which is not good <laughs> <coughs> and all, all the other cars you can see the dots are all um, still on 40 ampere hours on the 40 ampere hour line 
so there's no movement of these cars and well I guess this is good news and it is still far too early to make any assumptions or so and telling everyone it's working or it's not working I'm of course as you are always excited when I get news from from other people saying oh my car is still on 40 amp hours it hasn't dropped yet yeah I'm I'm as excited as you are about this whole stuff and but at the end we all yeah we, <laughs> we just have to wait we just have to wait what is going on and time will tell if this all works and I guess we have all volunteered a little bit to uh, present our cars to Mitsubishi and they are doing the testing because this is all new for them as well. They don't know what will happen in the future if this procedure works actually, if they have to look into it again after a while or if it starts dropping again, we don't know. Oh, she's parking there. Okay. Well, welcome to Forest Hill. So, and this is all very exciting, of course, and there might be cars like my one which acts differently to the other cars again, so we don't know what's going on and why is this happening, and then we try and make sense out of it, and maybe they have done the triple procedure wrong, maybe something has happened, maybe it's my charging behavior, charging on 6 amp only or don't let the car rest before you drive off and all this kind of stuff you know um, so who knows of course I got some comments people saying Andy why do you put up with all this shit give the car back get your money back and go on with your life it is what it is I like this car I want to I want the PHEV to succeed and from what we can see now after working so many months <laughs> so many moons with Mitsubishi it, it doesn't look like... Oh, is this here? Yeah, it is here already. Okay. Almost missed the driveway. Okay, I'll um, talk to you soon. So, and we are back on the road. Still have 83% state of charge in the battery so no problem at all have lost two blue bars i will plug in again when i came home i prepare the trailer in the time the car charged up a bit but it should not be necessary to charge at all and then we came home from the ref, um, from the transfer station i'll charge again for my appointment this afternoon all too easy all too easy well, I just had a phone call from Mitsubishi um, headquarters in Adelaide and we were talking about my car here and the confusion is going on and they are scratching their heads as well. The only, the only thing they can think of is that my battery was on a lower state of health already when it came from the factory. So maybe the battery was not on full 40 ampere hours as all the other ones. It was maybe on 39.5 or so. But we don't know. It's all speculation and they are scratching their heads the same way as we do. We we don't have we don't know where to start, where to look at it. I will send them in more information about the PHEV watchdog now and about the voltage map the PHEV watchdog does. Um, because he was thinking about maybe one of the cells is not working correctly anymore and it drops the voltage and that's why we see a problem. I'll just quickly show you that. The PHEV watchdog, when the car is running, we can go into the battery map. Yeah, and this gives you the indication uh, what the difference is between the cells. And we have only three millivolt difference across all these 80 cells now even the cars turned on and running so this is crazy crazy close together and i would say this is a hundred percent healthy battery definitely see four millivolts now putting some load on it if i turn on the air condition put some more load on it we may see increase 
No, we don't. Okay, it's not enough load. All the same colors are the same voltages here. Uh, yeah, three millivolts. So even if I put the car in gear now and start driving a little bit, see five millivolt, six millivolt, four millivolts. See, this is all totally fine. There's, I don't think there's anything wrong with the battery. I can't see anything wrong with that at all. And he, he was also asking if we are in contact with um, the other guys who got the battery replaced and the procedures done. And I said, of course we are. We are exchanging information and data all the time uh, in our forum and comparing our usage of the car, the charging habits and all this kind of stuff. You know, we are always exchanging information. And he said, look, it does just not make sense that they're all behaving they're all behaving correctly and mine is dropping it looks like it's dropping faster and I said look let's keep monitoring the whole situation it's far too early from what I can see it's not worth doing any any investigation at the moment because we just need more time we need more information more data points <clears throat> we need more experience on these cars after the procedures are being done it's not like we should panic now and I know I know I'm saying this I'm I'm panicking <laughs> of course I'm panicking all the time when we have a drop in state of health but we should not do that we should really focus on what we know what we see and see if we can make sense out of it after some time. We need more data points, more information. So I will send off some uh, battery maps to Mitsubishi tonight and let them also know what kind of charging I'm doing with the car. I told him I'm charging mostly on 6 amp setting and he said, no, that should not be a problem at all. There should be no problem what kind of charging speed you are using oops battery empty <laughs> I haven't charged the other camera doesn't matter so again even at Mitsubishi there is a lot of speculation going on see I've driven about 250 kilometers now since the last drop of state of health and so far the battery has not shown any further degradation at all So I'm not sure what this additional 0.1 ampere hour was after just 160 kilometers after the first drop. Um, so not sure. Again, time will tell. <laughs> okay, let's go home and charge the car.